come back to the thing about uh, what we do in relationship to other people, but let, let me go over to Elliot and let him answer the hard question. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sammy, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on the same page with uh, Chris. You know, I, I, Lord does deal with me. You know, I think we quench the spirit all the time when mm. we, we go up there to preach and, and you know, and we try to uh, we even go to worship. And we know we got an alt against our brother. Mm-hmm. We know we, uh, we just had an argument with our wife that we didn't settle it before the sun went down. Mm-hmm. All those things, I mean, uh, are definitely weighing on our hearts every time we get right up there to stand. So, and, and, I, and I appreciate Chris' comments, you know, that uh, it's not about me. It's not about my might, about my power, but it's about God's spirit, mm-hmm. you know. And I pray every time that that's why I pray like I pray, God, let the words of my heart you know, and the medita- I mean, the meditation of my heart and, words of, and my, the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Be acceptable in your sight. I just got to ask, I got to lean on God's grace at that point because I do get in the flesh and I do need to, you know, crucify this flesh daily. And, uh, and you know, and I don't want to be held accountable for going mm-hmm. up there and not being yeah. prepared when I go before God. Uh, you know, I think this is something that not just people who are in ministry, but I think uh, you, you mentioned something going worship. Uh, yeah. I can remember one Sunday morning, my wife and I were going to Alamo City, <laughs> the church where we were members. We had an argument, and I spoke harshly to her, mm-hmm. and immediately the Holy Spirit said, Sammy, that was wrong. Mm. You need to ask her forgiveness, and I was too proud. I didn't do it, mm. and we went to church. I went through, sang the songs, you know, clapped my hands, said amen, mm-hmm. all the st- right stuff mm-hmm. that you do at church, mm-hmm. and then walked out, and I went through a worship experience without having ever worshiped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And everyone looked at me and said, oh, there's that godly brother Sammy. Mm-hmm. But the truth was, there was that ungodly brother Sammy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, I, and, and I didn't have real freedom to worship mm-hmm. until I confessed to my wife. And I had to go to my wife and say, would you forgive me? Mm-hmm. I was wrong in, in the way I spoke to you. And I had to go back to her and, and boy, there was grace and there was freedom and there was joy. And, and I think there's, there's a flip side because I think we can talk and we have talked about brokenness and what God does. But the flip side of that is when you are broken, uh, the psalmist said, restore unto me the joy, joy of nice. your salvation. salvation. Mm-hmm. It's his salvation. It's his joy. Mm-hmm. And, and when we're broken, God comes and he, and he, 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 he gives us that joy. Mm-hmm. And that's what revival is. Mm-hmm. Uh, revive thy people that they may rejoice yeah. once again in you. So mm-hmm. we, the psalmist said, so uh, we're revived. It's, it's not just to be broken so that God mm-hmm. that's right. can put us mm-hmm. down, but mm-hmm. it's, it's because he loves us. Mm-hmm. Well, and I find it very interesting that you know, in the Psalms, we also read, "O oh Lord, return us to the point of our captivity." And it's a it's a Babylonian Psalm, and so he's he's talking about being reminded that in those times of brokenness, we are close to the Lord, we are needy and dependent upon Him. And I mean, to me, when I read that for the first time, as it, you know, it shocked me. Uh, you know, wow, here's the recognition of a man who is able to see and know and understand through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the through the just the, the self realization of God, I am. Close closest to you when you bring me to the point of brokenness, when I'm stepping outside of my pride um, and, and stepping outside of who I am and being close to you. Now, now let me go back to where you guys started off and with, with something, and that is because we've been talking the crux of this time, brokenness often comes through when we've sinned against God. God's holy, That's and right. we see our sin, and we're, we're broken before him. Right. There are times when there's brokenness that God brings us into our lives because he's wanting to expand us. Mm-hmm. In other words, I find that there's barriers to growth. Mm. And I don't even know if I fully understand what I'm saying right now. But there are barriers to our growth. You come up against one of those barriers. That barrier has to be broken in order for us to grow to become more like Christ. A pruning, a a, a A, type of pruning. pruning. So God allows things into our lives that that we have nothing to do with. I think you all know in the past two years I've gone through some really Mm. tough times in my life. And you know, and you always say, God, why? You yeah. know? And, and there's not always an answer to the yeah. why. Yeah. But, but there's also a, a barrier that's being torn down, and, I, and, and God's bringing you to a, I, a new level. I wonder if I could ask you a hard question then. In, in, our, in our times of brokenness, when they are not related to us to, or to sin in our lives, I think back to, to, to Billy's death. In, the, in, that, in a season that you walked through, because you were broken, were you more uh, teachable to God saying, Sammy, there are some areas in your life that you are. You, you, you haven't asked me to forgive you, or you're not yielding over to me. Um, do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, are there times in which when we're broken, we're more uh, discernible to our, to our sin nature? 
Well, you know, with, with the thing with Billy, uh, you know, I asked God, you know, the question, because it's the third time I've had a best friend be killed in an accident. But I, I asked God, God, is there anything in my life? It, it, there was nothing that I could see that I would call sin, even the pride issue, you know, it, it, that was related to that. Yeah, I understand. Happening. Uh, but I do think that there was some, um, some expanding of character. Hmm that uh, could only take place through uh, going through something like that, uh, a sensitivity to people that, that perhaps I didn't have before. It, 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 that didn't mean there was some, a sin issue involved in that, but God wanted to make me more sensitive to people. Mm -hmm. So in order to make me more sensitive, you know, and, and, I, don't, and I, I want to be very careful to say, I don't think Billy was killed so that I could be yeah, more absolutely, sensitive. Absolutely. But right. as that happened, those mm -hmm. circumstances of life, yeah. which happened to all of us, you know, God took that to break me mm. and to to make me more sensitive to to other people. Now, uh, so I think that God allows things, and, and I, I haven't really figured it all. I think to understand who we are in Christ, uh, you know, in the, in the last year, I've come to a whole new understanding of, of my position in Christ, mm -hmm. who I am that, I mean, I'm satisfied. My, I am, I can say, I am satisfied with being in Jesus. Hmm. And, and I think it's true. I think if you take this ministry away, you take everything else away, hmm. I'm satisfied in Jesus. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a depth of that. There's nothing tangible or concrete except just a sense of contentment there you go. That, that has come from being there you go. In, in Him. Yeah, and I think that's the common thread mm -hmm. for brokenness in all of our lives, whether it's brokenness coming from sin or brokenness coming for the need of expansion. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's to bring us to that point, to make mm -hmm. us satisfied in mm -hmm. Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and who He sees us who, who he sees us as, you know, and I think for the people who are listening and for uh, the three of us, that's what links us all together as the bodies of, body of Christ, mm -hmm. that God is gonna, gonna, going to continue to allow seasons of brokenness to come until we're satisfied in Jesus or until we're in his presence. Yeah. And, uh, and I think that's what we need to leave you with here is that God brings you through periods of brokenness. And, and I, I remember uh, a number of years ago, Nancy Lee DeMoss, a um, lady was speaking at, Campus Crusade for Christ, their international staff meeting, and spoke on the subject of brokenness. Mm. And, and God just came down, and people were broken. And that whole meeting was turned around. Speakers were canceled. People just spent time confessing, praying for one another, praying with one another. And, and a spirit of revival engulfed the whole Campus Crusade staff. I remember just uh, not long after that, uh, the Korean Campus Crusade asked if... Uh, Nancy would come and speak, and she said, I think Sammy needs to speak at it too. And, and I went there and spoke, and Nancy spoke one night. I spoke the next night, and I remember there was such a brokenness. And, I mean, people prayed at 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning mm. after the thing. They, they wouldn't leave this huge mm. gymnasium mm. just praying, weeping. And, and that's what revival, revival comes uh, to God's people when, when our hearts are broken. And it's not because God's wanting to crush us. It's because he's wanting to mold That's right. us That's right. and make us in the image of Jesus. And yeah. what joy there is when you're being conformed under the image of Jesus. That's right. A broken heart and a contrite spirit, the psalmist said, mm -hmm. oh God, you will not despise. So if you're going through a season of brokenness, embrace it and let God fill you and let God make you more like Jesus. Whether it's from some, somewhere where you fail God mm. or fail someone else, or whether it's through just life's circumstances that you're going through this period of brokenness. Let it be something that doesn't crush you, but something that molds you into the image of Christ. God bless you. Look forward to next week.